Hello, this is Mrs. Sherry, and here are a few tidbits that I want to focus on to be sure there's no misunderstandings while I'm gone. First of all, blocks six and eight, this applies to you. Have you seen this? This is the card that did not make it back on Wednesday. There are 32 cards in this set. I've had them for four years, and yesterday, one of them didn't come back. In order for this set to be useful, all 32 cards must be there. So, if you were the person that happened to have card number um, with 44 right here, please, please give it to Mrs. Schneeberg so it can be added back to the pack. It's very important. Thank you so much. And work to do. Work that Mrs. Schneeberg will give you. Um, the first thing you'll get is a sheet. Um, John Cena is the topic of that. So, um, Somebody can volunteer to read about John Cena. Somebody can volunteer to read the directions. Please make sure on every single assignment that you get, you always put your attendance number in the upper left. You include your name and blocks and highlight them in your class color and include the date. So on this sheet, a little bit different. You guys have been practicing with um, just two integers, adding or subtracting. This one has three of them. So you're going to take each problem, just as a sidebar, the information here about John Cena, um, you can be learning information about him, but also um, for instance, he was born in West Newberry, Connecticut, or Massachusetts, or New Hampshire. The answer that is correct goes with the answer that's correct to the problem. Work them out on the back. They've even got them recopied for you, so you don't have to copy them down again. And just like following order of operations, when you get to the step that there's only subtraction and addition left, you are going to take them two at a time from left to right. So, you would do these two, and just like your interactive notebook shows you, whenever you were subtracting, you're going to have the um, keep, change, change. You need to show all of your thinking. So even if it is adding or subtracting silly numbers, if you are adding them and keeping their sign, I want to see that. If you are subtracting them and see who wins, I want to see that. Do not tell me you did it in your head or you won't get credit. I need to see what is in your head. I need to see what's your, what your thinking is. So when you take them two at a time, you will get some answer from that. You will then bring down the part you didn't use. Then you'll take those two and you'll get some answer from that. Then, of course, you will box your answer, and you can see, again, you're doing those pizza slices. So you need to do that for all of the problems. And um, the second thing you'll get is another shading sheet. What's different about this one, though, is there is adding, there is multiplication, there is subtracting, and there is division. So you'll need to use all four sheets in your interactive notebook please make sure you are using that and then you can find um, the numbers to shade on the right remember i do not grade the puzzle part of things that is just for you to have as a safety net so you can check and see your answers so for instance let's say for this problem right here you get six here's six so you would take your pencil and just shade in the same thing that they show there. I'm not going to grade this quilt. It doesn't matter. If you don't understand about shading it, then forget it. All we're grading is this part. However, 
Again, make sure you show your thinking. I want to see the work that you do. I want to see the keep, change, change. If you add the two numbers, I want to see that you added them and then you decided who won. Or if you are subtracting the numbers, I want to see you subtracted them. Or excuse me, you added them and kept their sign. Subtracted them and see who won. So even though that looks silly, it's showing me that you know whether you know what you're doing or not. So please include that if you would like to have credit. Okay, the third thing you will get, this has a riddle up here, and by completing the riddle, um, you can check your answers. Once again, I will not be grading the answer to the riddle. Only the problems and answers. So this sheet is divided into sections. Each section is separate. So these problems go with these answers. These problems go with the answers that are over to the right. And the same for every box. You need to show your work. You need to have pizza slices. So if you cannot fit them in this area, which is kind of squishy, I don't know that I'd be able to fit them, um, you need to use lined paper. So you need to follow gems. You need to follow your integers rules for adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing them. And you need to show your thinking. So you need to have your pizza slices doing one step at a time. If you do this on lined paper, you need to include that lined paper that shows your work in order for your, you to get credit. If you supposedly did it on lined paper, but you don't include that, that is the same as not having done your work. So please be sure you are keeping track of those things. And um, potentially you will get this sheet and we can see on here, look at these people, darn it anyway. Um, we don't use X's anymore for multiplication, but every now and again people include that. So I would change those X's to dots. But um, order of operations, so you're following gems, you're making pizza slices, you're showing all your thinking. Again, make sure you've got your attendance number, your blocks, your name. I don't think I included a spot for a date on this one, so you can just add that someplace. But you need to show all of your thinking, and you're going to make a pizza slice, and you can have your answer right here. If that's not going to work for you, again, feel free to use lined paper, but you need to include that, or that is like you didn't show your work. Mrs. Schneeberg will let you know. Um, what is due on Monday, and um, student helpers, as soon as you hear any due dates, one of you please go back, write that on the back board in the spot by your class. Um, your Friday quiz. Remember, you Last get to use, some people had some okay. problems with this. I'm hoping that you can all get this to work this time. Um, you should go to, if you haven't already joined, you should go to bit.ly slash join whatever your first block is. If you're in blocks one and two, then you're going to type a one in here and a two in here. If you're blocks three and five, then you're going to put a three here and a five here. And then the same for six and eight. A six, join six and eight, join three and five, join one and two. And then use your school Google credentials to log you in. You need to, um, you can ignore the parent email request. You need to click accept, accept the invitation. That means you join the class and then you can um, take the quiz that way. When you take your quiz, Mrs. Schneeberg will give you a sheet of paper to do your work on that has the boxes on the front and the back. You need to put one problem in each box. I gave very specific directions about how to show your work. Um, 
on each question of the quiz. There are 18 questions. Be sure you have your name, date, block up on the top. You do not need to highlight them this time because your sheet of paper is the color of your class. You need to show every single working problem on there on a box and then you'll hand that sheet of paper to Mrs. Schneeberg when you are done with your quiz. Again, please make sure you show all of your work for credit. Show all your thinking. So again, use your school Google credentials and you can ignore that request for the parent email, but you need to click accept for accept the invitation. So right here, you'll see your name on there. When you use your Google credentials, it will grab your name from there. Then right here, ignore this. You don't need to type a parent email in there. I meant to uncheck that box and I forgot. Then you have to click the green, accept the invite. If you say decline, that means, nope, I don't want to be in that class. And that doesn't help you. If you've already done this, you don't need to join the class again. Once you go there, it should pop up for you. If the quiz doesn't pop up for you, then you can raise your hand for assistance on that. And the last thing I want to remind you of is make good choices. Whatever Mrs. Schneeberg says goes. Um, be on your best behavior, especially when you're going to the homecoming parade. Stay off people's yards. Do not pick their flowers. Do not go on their grass. Do not bother their garbage cans or whatever. We want to be respectful of our neighbors to the school. Um, keep our routines. Be a good helper and make sure you have good work ethic and choose your volume as well. I'll see you on Monday. Math rocks and so do you guys. Bye.